Hey yo guys, it's your boy Q here, back again with another video, and yeah, it's been a while, but I'm back, that's what matters, you know, the family's back together, the HD family is back together, and I love it. Alright, so, without further ado, let me just get straight into the video. So, KSI, I'm not, no, uh, well, I'm not, no, I don't know how many of you guys know KSI, he's a boxer, rapper, he's a YouTuber, alright, so, he posted a video on his channel where he found another channel called 60 Second Docs. Yeah, 60 Second Docs. And he pretty much reacted to a couple of videos on it. I started watching the video and about 30 minutes or so in, I decided, hey, I'm not going to watch the rest of this video. I'm going to make this video myself because this looks hell of fun to create. So here is my video. This is the channel, 60 Second Docs, so I will be linking it down in the description so you guys can check out some of the videos yourself and drop them a subscribe, a like on a couple of their videos. Before you do that though, ensure to like this video right here, ensure to share it, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. You know, that helps the YouTube algorithm. So, help your boy out. So, the first video we'll be watching is Tattoo Artist Designs Dumb Tattoos. All right, let's get into it. I thought I could save some money by tattooing myself. Uh, didn't go as planned. I was strong, but no, there's no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let's go back to those tattoos. Let's go back to those tattoos. Oh my gosh! Imagine having to live with these for the rest of your life. Oh my god. Alright, let's continue. But no, there's no time for that origin story, and nobody cared. I'm Janky Doodles. I live back to PC, and I make dumb tattoos. My tattoo design, they're not so good. I'm always surprised that <laughs> people keep wanting. Alright, this, this is kind of clever, this is kind of clever, you, you know, the wolf, the eyes for the dog's face, the O's, the O's for the dog's face, yeah. What is this? It's, it's, it's a, friend, a French dog, you see the beret, and look how him scribble the, 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 the shading, oh my god. And who's it supposed to be, Patrick? Oh my god. Keep wanting to get tattoos from me, but people usually don't care how they turn out. My favorite is a tattoo of me, tattooing me, tattooing me. I wish I knew what that term is. It's not Inception. It's Inception. With ignorant staff who don't have any formal training and learn trial by error. My brother passed away. He had been a tattoo artist. I never got any pieces from him. But I thought I could keep his memory alive <laughs> if I picked up a tattoo machine oh my God. too. At this point, there's no turning back. Every tattoo is a dead regret. Every tattoo is a good regret. <laughs> Especially tattoos from this guy. Alright. I respect how he started the whole tattoo things. His brother used to be a tattoo artist and his brother passed away. I respect that 100%. But, bro. At least watch a YouTube video, my AG, and how to do some good designs, right? Scribble some things on some paper before going on the people that skin. Well, even though I said that, it's working for him, so he's making money from it. My G, do your thing. Do your thing, bro. <laughs> my puppy side gets me away from my normal life. Money, jobs, household life, stress, that kind of thing. It gives me a chance just to be carefree, and that just makes it magic. My name is Spot. I'm from the United Kingdom, and I. I can't even laugh at this dude because what? What? Spot the human puppy? <laughs> Like, wait, on the, on the pre the one wardrobe? Like, uh, like, I can't... Look at him! Look at him! 
my name is Spot. I'm from the United Kingdom, and I'm a human puppy. Spot. He's a playful but essential seeking puppy. <laughs> Whereas Tom, much more reserved and much more held back. Become a human puppy to be the forefront uh, of attention. Of course you'll be. He's crowned Mr. Puppy in the UK 2016. He wants to be out and proud. My puppy side, it just felt right inside me. It evolved in leaps and bounds. And it's Wait, cool. so does he like have an owner then? Or is... He, I think he has an alter ego that's a puppy. I'm guessing that's what this is. Like he has um, double personalities or dual personalities or whatever. And one's normal Tom, his human side. And the other is the puppy section of him. I won't, criti <laughs> I won't criticize because maybe he has some mental problems or, or, well, maybe this is just who he is and how he likes himself. So I won't criticize. It's really who I am. I rely on my puppy side to get me the confidence. As Tom, but I'm not normally as a, a sociable person, but I draw on that confidence to help me with normal life, to win up their own interests. Yeah, everyone's their own person. Dude just barked. My guy whooped. All right, all right. Making clothes from I use something hair. that is considered as trash, but I see an opportunity. Hair is not waste. It's actually an extension of us. Yeah, I believe. My that. name is Alex Bizet from Paris, and I make clothes of human hair. I get it from hairdressers. I use needle felting to do electrostatic flocking. There is no type of hair I cannot use except when there is no hair. My clothes are unisex. This texture, it's not like wool, it's human, it has its own personality. My hair, my hair, my hair. Hair is a representation of how our body has been colonized by social norms, by different cultures, but also by the past. Afro-Caribbean slaves, not having the right of combing hair, brings a lot of traumas. How do we decolonize our bodies? I challenge you know, sorry, society nasty. to show them this possibilities. I think hair is really important to I'll understand society and how we construct is. our identity. You should not be wearing your hair or someone else's hair. Any hair for the matter of it, you shouldn't be wearing anybody's hair. I understand wool and so from animals to an extent. Because, I mean, you gotta wear something, but human hair? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I, I ain't messing with this. Not at all. Not at all. The norms in society to show them possibilities. I think hair is really important to understand society and how we construct our identity. Yeah, you use the hair to construct your identity and all of them something there and show your personality and all of them things there. But not by wearing it, mom. No. Like, I, 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 I'm not behind you. Modern life is full of stress and everybody has a pain inside. The aim of our life is not to show it this mania with our pain. I am Andra Sharato, called Hide the Pain Harold. I am 74 years old, meme, living in Budapest, dude. and I am a famous meme. I would like to be able to say that. Well, at the same time, I would not like to be able to say that, but imagine going to somebody and be like, hi, I'm a famous meme. Like, that's your biggest life achievement pretty much because that's what everybody knows you as. You look so in pain. A photographer was asking if I would be willing to post in costumes in different things. Doctor, professor, I accepted. I think deep inside, everybody is vain in every country in the world. This went viral. At first, I wanted to, to stop it. Don't do this. Yeah, Don't make a joke with my face. Actually, I'm a happy guy. But uh, then I, I wouldn't do anything against it. It took six years. <laughs> you look so insane. We all want to survive. <laughs> Keep hiding your pain. <laughs> He says he's a happy person and he goes on with his life rather well and he enjoys various things. So, I mean, do you? What did do it? Let me go over. <laughs> Look at 
him. He looks so in pain. Oh my god. But then he's smiling. He's like, oh, it's a. I'm gonna drop the clip right here. I'm gonna drop the clip right here. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Ensure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below either for the next video you want to see, something you found about this video interesting or whatever, the weirdest thing you found out about, or send me stuff you want me to react to. I ain't got no problem with that. Alright guys, so I'll catch you later. Peace.